up everybody and welcome back to another video uh, today I'm gonna be finishing up the series that I was started a few weeks ago the sweet child of mine uh, slashes lead lick part I did the intro I did what he does there in the chorus I did the first solo today I'll be teaching you the second solo so all that'll be left is uh, the main solo, which of course is the most known part of the song, but I don't know if I'll be teaching that because uh, I'm still a little sketchy on doing that fast run. A, a, a guitarist would really know what I mean. That fast uh, run that's kind of hard to get up the tempo. Um, yeah, so today I'll be doing the second solo, like the, the longer version of the first one. Okay, so um, again, if you do like my videos, please subscribe and hit that like button. I'll play it. Um, so I'll play it and then slow it down and teach it. Here we go. that yeah mess that final uh, <laughs> bend up but um yeah so again it's similar to the first one it's just the first one was a little shorter um again i play it up here you can play it around the 12th position which probably a lot of people do do because it's kind of closer but when i learned it i learned it down here at the 10th fret but okay so it starts off with the um which is on the B string, 10, 8, 7, twice. And then... Which is 10, 8 on the B to 9 on the G, twice. Again, from the top. Okay, then which is just on the B, 10, 8, 10, 8 twice, kind of like for a little stall. Okay, again from the top, it's and then. Which is um, the seventh fret bend up to the eighth on the B, and then you jump up to the ninth. I mean the uh, G string seventh fret, and then you do the again bend seven to eight on the B, and while you're bending, you catch the tenth fret on the E. And let go of the bend. So. Bend 7 to 8. 7 on the G. 7, 8, bend again. And then catch the ninth. I mean, catch the 10th fret on the E. While the bend is up. And then let go of the, then let the bend down. You might hear that little ee. Okay. Next it is um oh from the top I'll do it slow. Okay, next is
which is uh, on the B, you do 10, 8, 7, like in the beginning. But on the second one, you do... Which is, after the 7th fret, you hit a bend from the 10th to the 12th on the B. And you hit the high, you catch the high E on the 10th fret, and you hit it twice while you're doing the bend on the um, 10th fret on the B. And then 8th fret on the E, twice. Slide to the 12th fret on the E. Okay, I did, I did that a little too many times, but you know, I wanted to, I wanted to get it straightforward. Um, from the top, it's Okay, so now we're on the high E string, and you do, you hit the high E on the 12th twice, you hit it on the 10th fret twice, and then you slide it to the 8th fret. You can actually do twice on the, let me see, I never really analyzed what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oh, okay, so it's twice on the high E, 12th fret. Then you do a pull-off to the 10th. Hit the 10th again, slide up to the 8th. Okay, and then it's... which is a little nudge half-step bend on the 7th to the 8th on the E. 8th on the B, 7th on the um, G, which is kind of like a D. Wow, that didn't sound right. Okay, so after the... Um, I will go to the, uh, this position instead of down here for the next part because it's easy to do the bend. Um, so you go to the 14th fret on the G and you're gonna uh, bend that up like a full bend. Let go of it, sorry. You, you do a bend, let go of it. Then you go to the 12th fret of the, the G Back to the 14th fret on the G. And then another bend on the 14th fret on the G. This time you catch the 15th fret on the B. And then you slide that into the 17th fret of the B. Then again on the 15th fret of the B. Fifteenth fret of the B, and then a, a bend on the seventeenth fret of the B, and then in the bend you catch the seventeenth fret of the E, and that's the last note. So that last part is you can catch it while doing the bend, but I don't like doing that. Okay, so again from the top, very slow. I'll try to do it very slow. Thank you.
I really hope that picked up this part of the guitar because I did a ver I did a clip earlier and I realized I had to cut the whole thing because it didn't even show this part of the guitar. Uh, so hopefully that's in there. Um, so that'll be the end. That's the end of the solo. And then it goes into... Which is A, C, D chords, power chords. Um, he does a cool little... On the D, really, he, if you go... I notice he does that, which I love doing. Um, Sorry. Which is three, two, three, uh, three, two on the high E to three on the B to two on the G, like a, a D chord, obviously. Open G. to fourth fret on the D to open D. So it would be. Ah, uh, sorry. And then it would be again, he does it, but on the second time he doesn't do that. I think that's what he, I'm not sure I, I never really watched him play I think it just I'm pretty sure like something like that and then he does again the first version solo which I am not going to teach right now I may not teach it at all because I again I don't know that no, I mean, uh, that that run that I uh, when it gets into the wah um, although does he do the wah pedal for the whole solo I don't know no he switches to the treble yeah that's what it is like he when he you're doing it in the rhythm and then you when he hits that part you switch to the treble yeah never mind Okay, so again, uh, that's the end of the video and the lesson. Um, I hope I didn't... Re I realized I rambled a lot in that one. <laughs> I should really... Like, I know how to play it, but I never really teach it. And then I realized, wait, I'm going to teach it. So now I have to actually analyze what's going on in the song <laughs> before I actually teach it. But um, that'll do the... That'll be the end of the video. Uh, if you do like any of my videos, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you do like the video, please hit that like button. Um, okay, everybody. See you in the next video.